<laughs> okay, hi guys, welcome back to another episode of the AMA channel. This is Xichen, and today I'll be speaking with the CEO and founder of Permission. Well, thanks so much for having me. Thank you. Um, so please give us a little bit um, an introduction about yourself. So how you got into crypto and what were you doing prior to this, please? Sure. Um, I've been an entrepreneur for 30 years. I've built many companies, uh, particularly in the dot-com era. I built a company called Real Age. People may be familiar with my partner, Dr. Mehmet Oz, who's on TV every day. Uh, and we had a very successful company that we sold to Hearst very successfully. And then since then, I started a financial services company called Reality Shares that has seven publicly traded ETFs, including the first blockchain equity ETF that with the ticker BLCN. I got totally involved in crypto uh, in late 2016, early 2017, where I really fell in love with the vision of putting people in control of their finances, putting people in control of their data, and moving control back to individuals away from central authorities, whether it's Google, Facebook, or central banks. I love that vision. I love the vision of private money. And I'm thrilled to just be part of a project that is helping bring that to individuals. Very cool. And um, Charlie, we want to know a bit more about um, your project that you guys are working on. For example, uh, why did you guys start a project or something that sets this a project apart from the other competitors? Well, the most important thing is that we are enabling individuals to get paid from advertisers instead of Facebook and Google and the major centralized platforms getting paid from advertisers. Everything that we're building allows advertisers to connect to individuals directly and then offer them payment to watch their ad. So the return on investment to advertisers is better. And now people are getting paid for what is rightfully theirs, their data and their engagement. And we think Web 3.0, the next version of the internet is all gonna be based on this, all based on individuals getting paid by advertisers and advertisers asking permission to show them an ad instead of being interrupted. Okay. Um, what about your team? Can we know a bit more about Pernition? Like how big is it? And what are those some like those key members that we should know of? We have about 25 people on our team. Our CTO, Hunter Jensen, is fabulous. He is built technologies and platforms for major companies like Microsoft and Salesforce. He really, and he directs about 10 developers. That's the core of the technology team. We have a fellow named Joe Underbrink, who is our key mathematician. We have built a technology called data algebra, which is underneath everything which turns all data into mathematics, which allows individuals to bring their data together to get compensated for it. And then we have a great marketing team uh, led by Jennifer Silver and Bobby Peterson. We have a really great team. I'm very proud of our team. Awesome. And um, <clears throat> we talked about this a bit earlier, but um, what is the main use case for your project? Can we know a little bit more about, for example, the process of how the buyers would, you know, participate in the project? It's all about connecting individuals to advertisers. So advertisers purchase ASK, which is our crypto, and then offer it to individuals like you to watch their ad. 
It's a two-sided market driven by, you know, users come to the platform, sign up, and now they can earn ASK by watching product videos and shopping. Cool. Now, our first uh, major effort that we are just getting underway is allowing e-commerce merchants, one of tens of millions of, of store operators who are running an e-commerce store to install a plugin, a little piece of code on their store, which allows that store operator to offer ASK to their shoppers. If you watch a product video, you can earn ASK. You check out and purchase something, you earn ASK. So that's a big, big effort is uh, getting Shopify merchants, Magento, big commerce, merchants that are operating on these big platforms to install our plugin so they can offer their customers ASK for shopping. Of course. And um, how are you guys planning to um, market your project, gain more awareness? Any social medias? Well, yes. We, that's an ongoing effort. Mm -hmm. uh, we, of course, are on Facebook and Twitter and Reddit and YouTube. And <coughs> that's a never ending process. You could always do more and we're always looking to do more, but we're just getting started. So the whole world is gonna learn about permission and our crypto ASK. That's awesome. Yeah, I'll also be linking all of your guys' social media things below in the description box. So please check it out. And yeah, following by this question, we have a very interesting thing to talk about. For example, what are some big lessons that you guys have learned after starting Permission? There are so many. <laughs> there are so many. Number one, it's all about transparency. You gotta be 100% transparent. We've had some issues regarding that about how we release ASK to wallets, about KYC. We have to do KYC. That was something that we had to learn just because there are too many people out there who will create fake accounts. So we have to have KYC in place. That was a really tough lesson to learn. And that's in the process of happening right now. But the biggest lesson is that crypto is gonna go mainstream. There is no doubt in my mind, fast forward several years, that cryptocurrency and digital assets are gonna be core to the financial system globally. And I have 100% confidence in that. Yeah, oh my God, that's awesome. And um, I'm also curious about you guys' roadmap. Well, great question. The, sh the plugin for e-commerce stores is number one, mm -hmm. getting that going. The next is what's called a browser extension where a permission member will install a browser extension that tracks data as they surf the web, but it's up to them to opt into it, right? Mm -hmm. And so if you're surfing on a site that sells shoes, you may see ads that, you know, from shoe merchants. So a browser extension is a big part of it. And then having a gateway, and this is huge, and this is coming in the next several months, allowing everybody to link to different data sets to their Facebook data, to their Twitter data, to their credit data, enabling individuals that be their own data platform where advertisers can see that data and then compensate people to watch their ad. So it's about enabling you to be kind of your own Facebook or your own Google. And that's what we're all about. And that's gonna take a long time to get all these features in place to create a whole new internet. 
Yeah, <clears throat> sorry, that sounds very exciting. Um, what about your view on the current crypto market? Do you think we're entering a bull market yet? Or what's going on? Yeah, we're in a new bull market. <laughs> um, my guess is Bitcoin is going to double or triple from here this year or by the end of next year. And I think the altcoins are going to uh, benefit from that. There's no question, and it doesn't matter if Biden or Trump gets elected, money printing is just part of the culture now. And it's in China, Japan, Europe, the US, the fiat currency printing to solve economic problems and political problems by printing more and more money is going to benefit crypto tremendously. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, well, that is all my questions for today. Um, I actually don't have anything else. Is there anything else that you would like to add? Just come to permissionii.io, sign up, start earning ASK, refer your friends, and everybody who joins has interest in growing the network. The bigger the network, the more benefit for everybody. So just join and spread the word. Okay, awesome. And um, I'll be linking the websites below. So guys, please check it out. And um, thank you very much, Charlie. It's great yeah. to have you. Yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate it.